Hi, welcome to another video from SQLMasteros.com. This time I am going to talk about statistics histogram. So as usual, no slides as such, only demos. Let me go and switch over to the VM and show you a few things about SQL Server statistics histogram. I have taken a few notes here and I'll try to share this file with you uh, about the various columns there uh, in the in the histogram. Now, before I talk about the histogram, if you want, you can watch another video that I have on SQL Maestro's uh, YouTube channel about SQL Server Statistics Basics Part 1. And it is advisable that you watch that video and then come here. It would be a little more meaningful. Then if you already know the basics of statistics, let's get started. So first thing what I am going to do is there is, uh, I'm going to use this database called AdventureWorks 2008. And there is a table here called sales order header and if I look at this uh, table uh, one of the column here is a pretty interesting column which is total due and it has variety of values I think this this column was perfect to explain histogram uh, when I retrieve this data only for total due when I order it in ascending format you can see I can have I have values as low as 1.5 and it goes as I has uh, high as um, a six digit value so really good data so what I will do now is create stats object manually. So create statistics total due, um, the name of the object uh, on which column on total due column. You could always manually create statistics this way. So it says there are already statistics on table. So I got to go and drop it. So let me go and drop the statistics. I can drop the statistics like this and then create it again. Okay, now if I go and use this command called dbcc show statistics and I can look at the how is SQL Server maintaining the statistics data. When you look at the output of DBCC show stats, you can see the name of the stats object, when was it last updated, the number of rows it had and the number of sampling that was uh, number of rows sampling that was done and in this particular case when we, you actually create stats uh, with this command it does a full scan which means all the rows were sampled and our histogram this is what we call as the histogram has 198 steps uh, which means 198 bars this is the uh, density factor you can ignore this one uh, and rather follow uh, this particular density value out there couple of other um, uh, columns out there now first before we jump into the histogram understand the density density is nothing but one by the number of unique values so look at the density it is 0 0.002107 and if you run this by yourself execute this is the value you get 0 0.002107 so density is nothing but one uh, by the number of distinct values in that particular column let's go back and look at the stats so that is density and then this is the histogram and this histogram has four five important things as you can see range high key range rows equal rows which that's what eq stands for distinct range rows and average range rows this is the histogram and now i am going to explain you the histogram remember the sql optimizer is heavily dependent on statistics to generate efficient execution plan and it will use the density factor in combination with this histogram and of course it has a lot of uh, formulas i don't know all of them i know some of them which i will talk about in a series of videos but first let me explain you the histogram for uh, me to explain you the histogram i have some verification queries that i will copy and put them in a different window so that we can just go and verify a few things now let's get started so friends the first thing is this range high key because it's a histogram like a you know a bar graph so it's a histogram so it has to have boundaries so you can see 1.5 is the lowest boundary that you have and the highest is of course 2 4 7 9 1 3 this is how it goes and a histogram at max can have 200 steps and in this particular case we already have 198 steps so this is the lower boundary so these are how your bars are the the histogram is 1.5 to 2.5 and then from 2.5 to 4.4 and then to 5.5 and from 5.5 to 6.9 and this is how it goes so it's like a histogram from the lowest value to the highest value so that this is what we call as the range high key what are your ranges you know this is your range 1.5 to 2.5 2.5 to 4.4 so this is these are your low range 
and the high range and now as, as you say it says range high key so let me tell you um, uh, of course when I say 1.5 to 2.5 and then 2.5 to 4.4 where exactly is 2.5 belonging to is it on the left hand side of the of the range or the right hand side well that will be clear when I explain these things but for the time being just understand that each of these values here they represent uh, a boundary of in the histogram let's understand the first one range rows and it's going to be clear to you now let's take this one the first one a value called a count of two here range rows which means how many rows are between 2.5 and 4.4 and the values of these two rows should not be equal to 2.5 and 4.4 which is which means in between 2.5 and 4.4 so if I go to my verification queries I have written select count star from this particular table and where total du is greater than 2.5 and see I have not put greater than equal to I have put greater than 2.5 and um, less than 4.4 and I should get a count of 2 when I go and execute this I get a count of 2 which means there are precisely two rows and what are those two rows if um, if it is simply put this here and let's say let's select total du and what are those two rows between this uh, range these range high keys these are two rows and you can see they're of the same value which is fine but that is what range rows mean so two rows as you scroll down you will see those numbers 38 rows which means 38 rows are between 16.8 and 23.7 and none of the values of total due are equal to 6.8 and 23.7 so that's range rows for you next is eq underscore rows which means equal to rows 139 rows are equal to 2.5 95 rows are equal to 4.4 so that's the number so th the which is how many rows are equal to a particular range high key let's go and verify this data so if i take something like this one so for 2.5 how many were there there were 139 rows which is equal to 2.5 so if I go and select this and I see equal to you can see 139 rows and as you can see uh, if I do a between 2.5 to 4.409 and you get a value of 236 because between means equal to 2.5 greater than 2.5 less than and equal to 4.4 so you get 236 which is actually nothing but select uh, all this together which is 139 2 and 95 so 95 plus 139 plus 2 and this should be 236 let's take both of them 236 236 so that is your equal to rows number of rows that are equal to a range high key then comes distinct rows, uh, distinct sorry, distinct range rows, which is uh, out of let's say 100 and um, now let me take a better number. Let me take this one. Let's say 14.2987. So which is there are uh, there are 58 rows um, which are equal to 14.2 and. Uh, the 36 rows are between 11.0 and 14.2 so distinct range rows means that number of range rows here are 36 out of this 36 rows how many distinct values we have so we have four distinct values in this uh, out of these 36 rows so what I can do is I can take this 14.2987 and let me go to my verification queries okay so I need to put this here and let me take the another range key which is 11.039 and let me put it here so what am I trying to find out I'm trying to find out the number of distinct values between these two range high keys and as per the histogram it is supposed to be 4 let's go and execute this and figure it out ourselves so if I execute this I get the four distinct values so here are those 11.3 12.9 13 and this rest are all duplicates of either one of them so you have four distinct values next we have average range rows this is a simple mathematics here which is 
36 divided by 4 will give you 9 which means out of 36 range rows if I have 4 distinct values how many rows do I have per distinct value which is of course 9 36 by 4 will give me 9 which means per distinct value I have 9 rows so friends that's histogram uh, for you and uh, as I mentioned before the SQL Server optimizer is heavily dependent on updated statistics this should always be up to date for it to prepare an efficient execution plan and in my more upcoming videos I will show you how the optimizer is actually using the density factor here and this histogram to generate efficient execution plans I hope this video was useful to you thank you very much for your time uh, you can follow me on a underscore Bunsel and I hope to connect with you uh, very soon in another video have a great day